All right, so my name is Josh Brandoff. I'm a co-founder and core developer of Storage, and we use uh, blockchain uh, technology um, from Bitcoin and cryptocurrency to create a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized cloud storage network. Um, so I'll show you a quick one-minute video that highlights our platform, um, talk about what makes us unique, and then uh, jump into the demonstration. Imagine if the cloud wasn't up here, but down here with us. That's storage. Storage is a cloud shared by the community. It's potentially the largest, cheapest, and most secure cloud available. What you share is what you get. You can even be paid by renting your extra space. But how is it more secure? Each file is shredded, encrypted, and spread across the network until you're ready to use it again. And you can be sure the files are safe because the keys are in your pocket, not a company's. Only you have access to your stuff. Because the network is shared, you don't have to worry about slow download speeds coming from one place. We're all helping to make the system blazing fast. And if you have some extra space lying around, you'll get paid by users who need more than they can share. It's like renting out your empty hard drives. A cloud with security, no downtime, and speed at a fraction of the cost. She has a much better pitch voice than I do, but <laughs> I'll jump into the highlights and then jump into the demo. So the three differentiating uh, features of our platform is one, we, as opposed to centralized cloud storage like Dropbox, um, we do all client-side encryption. So before your data ever goes out into the cloud, it's uh, encrypted locally, cut up into a bunch of pieces, so you're the only person who can ever decrypt it. Secondly, because it's already secured on the client side, we don't need centralized uh, servers, centralized server farms to, you know, with employees and insurance and security. So what we do is we actually use the excess hard drive space of people all over the world in different countries. Um, and we, and because those people have already paid for their hard drives and their internet, it's a sunk cost for them. So ultimately it's always gonna be cheaper. Uh, finally, um, we're not the first person or the first people to come up with decentralized file sharing. What makes it different is we use blockchain technology um, Bitcoin micropayments to help uh, incentivize people to store your content. So every time we cryptographically verify that someone's storing a piece of your encrypted file, we send them a little cryptocurrency reward. So this allows us to scale in a way uh, other people can't. Um, so our demonstration here, we've actually started um, doing some testing. Uh, we actually have the people who store the encrypted data, or we call them farmers. So we actually have 50 farmers all around the world right now. Each of these people is storing um, a chunk of an encrypted file. Um, and every time that we uh, verify that they have a file, um, you'll see the little pin go up. So we have a live network going on right now. We've had a lot of great developments. Um, and the great thing about this is, is you know, if any one of these nodes goes down, um, your, the piece of the file they had will be um, transferred to another person because everything's stored redundantly. Um, so that's the most I could describe in three minutes. Um, that's it. There you go. We're on time. Questions for uh, Josh here. Don't be shy. Best question gets a book, by the way. Signed book. Not by me, too. How many, how many, how many folks are using this? So we have. Um, oh, yeah, right he asked uh, how many how many uh, users they have. Sure. So I mean, we're still developing the core technology. Um, right now, we have about uh, 50 and 100 to 100 people actively testing the software, and we're actually um, testing in stages. So the next group will be 1,000 people, then 10,000. You know, get it right before we grow, kind of thing. Um, sure, I think, actually, I think you had a question in the back. Yeah. Right. Just uh, how would you distinguish yourself from Made Safe? That's an interesting question. Um, I can talk more about it afterwards. But basically, Made Safe, um, they're trying to build an entire a decentralized internet. Also, their incentivization model is different from ours. Um, so, we talked, I talked to David Irvine. They have a great team. They've been working for a while. Um, so, we're, we're kind of, you know, we use blockchains. Made Safe doesn't. That's the biggest thing. I can go into more details after the talk. Sure. Yep. In regards to privacy, would this protect us from the prying eyes of the NSA? Well, absolutely. So one interesting thing is, we, you know, <laughs> well, I guess you can't say nothing's impossible, NSA, right? <laughs> you recorded? So each, um, when you put a file on the storage network, first it's split up into several small chunks, and each of those chunks can be encrypted differently. So even if someone somehow cracked the encryption on one of the chunks that a person has, they only have a piece of your file, 
and they would never be able to crack the encryption on the entire network. So the heterogeneity of the network is one of its um, big protections. How do you protect against terrorism? Terrorism? Terrorism. 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 System is used by terrorists. Like a cyber terrorist. He's saying, what about illicit data <coughs> retention? Terrorist is Yeah, so there's, uh, that's another interesting thing I can talk about more afterwards. But I, what I will say is, if you keep your keys and your data private, um, no one will know what you have. But if you're a terrorist group that says, hey, I have my file on your system, I post the decryption keys and the um, information to download that file. Um, people will be able to see that, and I, we have something called a gray list. So files that are widely known, in, um, encrypted chunks that are widely known to be associated with uh, bad content, people on our network can sign up to lists that they choose and block that content. So they can, we can still maintain the privacy of people who don't share their information while letting people, individual people on our network voice their concerns and say, I don't want to be a party to this kind of content. How do you make money? Another great question. <laughs> um, so the, the question was, uh, how do you, how do you make money? How do you monetize? Sure. So we kind of have a, have a two-tier system. So the core technology is always going to be open source and free, um, because otherwise, who would trust it? Um, and the the company being built on top is Storage Labs. The Storage Labs is going to build um, integrations with companies that might want to use the decentralized system. Um, we're also thinking about and building out ideas about a content distribution network that maybe Netflix might want to use. So all these questions have longer answers. Catch me afterwards. Great. So unfortunately, that's all we have time for okay. in terms of questions. So uh, feel free. I, we'll distribute to everybody information on the companies in terms of email, website, sure. etc. So, so you can uh, ask away afterwards. Um, so give uh, Josh a round of applause here. We have a <laughs>